Hi there and welcome to another how-to episode. In this episode we'll be doing another how-to on automated mining and this time we're going to be using the ender quarry from extra utilities. Now this ender quarry is quite something. It's designed specifically to be as lag free as possible while also acting similar enough to um, a regular build craft quarry. It is quite difficult to um, build. You need quite a few things and it is not definitely not an early game item. You need ender pearls and obsidian, quite a lot of them. You need magical wood which is made with enchanted books so it is quite difficult to make. Um, but once you do make it, and you need some iron, diamonds as well, once you do make it, it is quite impressive. Now, unlike the build craft quarry, you need to set up an area that you want to um, put your quarry in. And you do this, it doesn't have to be a, a, a square area. You can just put down a fence area around where you want to mine using your quarry leaving one gap free. The gap can be anywhere along the fence. So then you put down your ender quarry and then you right click the ender quarry and you'll see that it analyzes the fence boundary and then it will say that it successfully established the boundary. So now this is set up to use this area. You can put down a chest or pipes or anything like that to get um, the items out of and then of course you'll need some sort of energy so the way it goes you can see that it will has little particle effects coming out of uh, the area that it's currently mining unlike the build craft quarry which goes from the top and takes all the top and then the next there and then the next there the ender quarry actually comes from the top takes one block and goes all the way down to bedrock so you'll see that we're already getting ores that are found down at the bottom and you can actually check the percentage complete and the position that it's doing right now the other thing this does automatically uh, chunk load the area that it's currently mining only so unlike the build craft quarry which maximum size keeps a lot of chunks loaded this one will only ever keep one chunk loaded at a time that it's working on so it's going away there, it's pretty fast. And you'll see that it's mining cobblestone, gravel and everything else. But it is not mining um, the dirt. So it doesn't mine the dirt, but it does replace everything else with dirt. So if you dig down, you can see that everything down here is actually dirt. Now the other cool thing about this is that if it comes across a chest um, it will take the contents of the chest. So if there's a, a mine shaft or a stronghold or anything like that under here it will mine it. If you have something like soul shards on and it comes across a, uh, a spawner it will mine it and give you the uh, soul crystal which is also cool. Um, it doesn't, however, do silk touch. Um, so you'll just get the redstone and the diamonds and you won't get the fortune either. Fortune either. So it, it doesn't there, but it is quite impressive. Now, the only annoying thing is this can be pretty much made any size you want, but they're quite annoying to make. So I've written a small little computer craft script that uses either some sort of turtle. I'm just using a mining turtle in this case. So what you do is you put down your mining turtle and you get the following uh, script uh, which I'll put in the description below 
So F W J six query. Oops, forgot to get. So what query does is once you run it, oh sorry, you need to put fuel in the first slot, and then put stacks of fences in every other slot. So it doesn't actually use that much um, coal. But let me just get a, an inventory of fences. Oh, space doesn't work. So you just fill it up depending on how big your quarry you want. And then run the script. So it asks you how big you want the quarry. You can actually make this any size you want. It's just that about 240 uses all the fences. But if you run after it and fill it up some more, it will create an even bigger quarry. So let's just put this as 25 just for this demonstration. And we'll make a 25 by 25 square with the fences. So away it goes. And away it goes, building fences. So I'm just gonna cut here while it, it goes ahead and builds it, and we'll be back in a second. So if it comes across some um, obstructions, it will try build, dig through it. The only problem with this is that if it tries to go through some sand or something that's too high, it will get stuck in the one place and the quarry won't go properly. Now this is always builds out and then anti-clockwise. So you can see the turtle is just coming down now. He'll come right down to the other corner. And there he is, he's finished. And you can see he's finished there. So we can put down the ender quarry. It establishes the fence and uh, away it goes again. So there we go. And without an output, it will actually not have anywhere. But we can actually output to this turtle here just to show you. So there you are. Um, the Ender Quarry. It is quite an impressive way of getting stuff. It uses quite a lot of uh, energy as well, though. So you will have to have a lot of power coming into this. But um, yeah, it's quite an impressive thing. And with this little script, you can make a huge, huge, big area to quarry. It doesn't touch any full um, plants and stuff on top of the land so that's another thing and it doesn't it the land will look exactly the same afterwards which is pretty cool so um i hope you enjoyed the episode uh, hit like favorite and subscribe and i will see you later